I want to explain a little bit what it is we do and how we do it and how do we get to the final product. Well, how are things made? Do you ever wonder that? Uh, I do all the time. And uh, sometimes the simplest and easiest things are like the hardest to make. Um, that is basically the fact of our product, uh, the hanger bike shelf, which uh, looks very simple, very straightforward, but it's a really difficult product to make. So for us, everything starts with uh, putting a powder into our three-part mold. Uh, we needed a three-part mold because we have this uh, undercut where uh, we prevent the bikes from falling off the edge. So everything gets added to the mold, the mold gets closed up, and then uh, gets into gets put into the oven, which is roughly at 500 degrees. And that mold will rotate and at the same time start melting the powder, which basically coats the exterior walls and the interior walls, whatever form we made, uh, and hopefully it uh, coats it equally so that uh, once uh, it is all melted and heated, we go into the cooling process and uh, eventually we get this part out that kind of looks like this. You know, you can see the parting lines where the mold kind of came apart. So that obviously, we do clean this up. We, you know, scrape back the parting lines. We have to clean all these up where the mold basically came apart that goes around the edge, goes down here. That's the parting line, as you can see. Um, so we scrape it back, uh, then we sand it, and then we run a, uh, a torch, propane torch, over the whole surface, and we flame polish the whole part, uh, which basically, once we're all done with it, this is what our parting lines look like, so that you cannot see anymore where the parting line really used to be and now uh, you know we take a little extra time making it all look like it's one piece so you can compare here this is our finished product and this is what the parting line looks like before we you know deal with it so we take care of blending in our parting lines really well now another problem that we had with our part, just the way we designed it is because uh, we wanted these, you know, nice straight lines with curves. Um, whenever you make uh, very big straight lines and flat surfaces in rotational molding, you're going to have uh, sinking. Basically what happens, the material shrinks at a different rate, like wherever it's thinner, it's going to cool down faster and, you know, when material cools, it shrinks. So you're gonna have some unevenness based on, uh, you know, materials thicker in the corners, uh, thinner in the center. So it basically varies. So it will never cool down at the same rate. So you won't have a flat, straight part. To uh, fix this unevenness, um, we uh, actually uh, foam out our parts. We uh, fill it with a high density foam. Uh, to do that, we have to uh, f uh, drill some holes in the back. There's uh, two holes where the foam will be inserted from. And then we have some vent holes. And uh, one of the hardest part actually to figure out on this part was how to not trap any air inside the part. So uh, it took a lot of trial and errors to uh, not trap air because all the air has to exit out of the part and has to be replaced by foam. And if there's an air port pocket anywhere in there, it basically would get pressurized because the foam would surround it and it's an expanding foam. So it would pressurize that air and it would cause a lot of trouble later on. The part would bulge at a certain spot or it would basically also have weakness because this part does have to support the weight of a bike. So uh, that was one of the hardest part is basically to figure out how much foam goes where where are the vent holes and how long to pour what in which side. So this part sits in the foam fixture for about a half an hour to make sure that the high density foam is cured all the way through. 
Uh, then we pull it out of the foam fixture. We drill out the back foam holes, clean up any excess foam. We wipe it down with a polisher and then uh, install our felt pads. And that's the finished product. A lot of people, a lot of hands are touching these parts and I uh, hope this uh, makes all sense on how this is made.